on the bodybuilding.com message boards, it was a very lively and, and highly populated community of people who were recreationally interested in physique culture. And just the conversations, the debates, the discussions were just really gripping, really engaging. Um, I had just uh, finished my master's degree a few years before hopping on the, the bodybuilding.com forums in 2003. And so during that time, there was really no such thing as a scientific basis for making claims or thinking we understand what we understand. It was only just observation, anecdote, what is the best looking or, or buffest dude saying? Let's listen to him and um, just take it from there. And so having come off of my graduate degree, I was just kind of fascinated by this whole idea of people building programs and making claims just sheerly based on what, what boiled down to gym locker room uh, gossip and stories and, and legend and, and lore and tradition. And sometimes legend, lore and tradition is valuable because it withstands the test of time and uh, some of it is, is actually true. But the problem is it's usually half true and half um, just because. And, and so that's where the science comes in and helps people save a lot of time and energy and, and helps them not go through certain hoops and take certain unnecessary steps that would save them a bunch of time and resources and risk. And so that was the beauty of the evidence-based approach. We can take a look at the scientific literature and say, all right, cool. So you're taking branched chain amino acids, you're, you're supplementing with branched chain amino acids. Did you know that most high quality protein sources are somewhere between 18 all the way up to like 26% branched chain amino acids? And if you're getting enough protein in the diet, then supplementing with those extra branched chain amino acids is not going to do anything beyond just adding extra calories. And, and so being able to tell people that and get through to people's thick skulls about those things, initially they start off very resistant to the idea when they've had just, um, you know, habits and, and routines and just lore lodged into their minds. But when you get through to people, they go, oh my goodness, I don't have to put that supplement on my grocery list. I can cancel, you know, one extra thing from what I have to shell out for. And so that's, you know, the, a very long and winding way of, of answering your question of how did this start? 